Hello everyone, I am Lori Cooch. Welcome back to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. And oddly enough, I'm the one who sent the envelopes this month. So rules were really simple. Um, you have to use white daisy cardstock and demonstrate um, some sort of inking technique. And it can be any ink, embossing, distress oxide, or our exclusive oxa or I'm sorry, exclusive inks, pigment inks, we get to choose what we want to use. And if we use all the sequins, there was only three included, you can add up to two additional papers, cardstock or um, our printed BT paper. So that was it. That was my instructions this month, and these are the items that was sent. We got a slimline card base, we got some harbor cardstock and some pieces of um, our paper packs. So that's it. That's all that's all we got. Um, if you're not familiar with the mystery envelope, this is something that there's seven of us consultants for close to my heart that we do this every month. All of our videos release on the 25th and there'll be a playlist um, both on my YouTube channel and in the description below of all of those videos. So be sure and check out the other six makers with heart because they're creative and fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to set all this stuff aside for right now. And I'm going to get out my Versa mat because I'm going to be playing with ink and I don't want to get it all over my desktop. What I have pre-cut is a piece of white daisy cardstock at eight by three inches. And then I cut some Lagoon, and I don't even remember what I cut this at. Not not Lagoon, sorry, Glacier, at um, seven and a half by three and a half. And I have my Harbor ink to match the Harbor cardstock that came in the envelope. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to ink up my mat. And I'm gonna just get it all on there and make a mess. This is why I wanted my, my mat down on my desk. And then I'm going to just lay this piece of white daisy cardstock on there and push it down into that ink probably going to get some ink on you when you do this. It moved. That's fine. It's just going to enhance the effect. And I'm going to just continue picking up some ink to get some more around those edges. And got some dark there, it's perfect. Kind of what I wanted was a very irregular inking pattern. So that's what we have. I'm gonna just take a baby wipe and wipe off my, my mat so we don't have ink everywhere. Spritz it with some water. These, these um, baby wipes are kind of old and Dry. So if you're not familiar with these mats, they're perfect. They resist everything and easy cleanup. So now I'm done with that. I don't know what that inking technique is called. I just have seen it done and I've done it before and I just, I'm sorry, I don't know what the name of it is called. So the next thing I'm going to do, because this takes a while to dry, is I'm going to stamp in our White Daisy exclusive pigment ink. It's a pigment ink, so it's going to sit on top and it's gonna take it a little bit longer to dry. And I'm using the Butterfly from the In Full Bloom card making workshop. Um, it's just, I really like this Butterfly and I use it quite a bit on other things. And I'm using white so that it will stand out on top of this Harbor ink. 
and it's not. So we'll emboss. Okay, so off camera real quick before this dried, I sprinkled some embossing powder on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stamp some more butterflies on here. And then sprinkle them with embossing powder as well. You can, you don't have to use Versamark. Or uh, if you're, if you're quick, you can use our embossing or our pigment inks as well. And I'm gonna throw one more on here because my sentiment is gonna go at the bottom. I'm going to put this powder back. And I'm just using our um, white embossing powder that we sell. And now I'm going to just hit that with the heat tool and those butterflies are going to stand right up out of the harbor. And I love how it has this worn, maybe, like denim worn appearance to it. I just, I love that. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. I'm going to bring back our initial supplies. Got my sequins. And I'm going to cut this piece at... Um, well, it's already the three and a half this way. So I'm going to cut it at um, half of an inch and then half an inch strip to put on the ends. I was like, did I get those wrong? <clears throat> so then we have our lagoon, and I'm gonna just <laughs> find some adhesive. And I'm gonna put that on the edge of the card I'm gonna put this here, butt up to it, and then put this one on the other side. And I think I'm gonna use the lighter side. today it seems at lining things up and 
And then I'm going to just mount this on here. And then the next is gonna be our sentiment, which I'm also gonna do in the harbor, but on the dark side. I'm gonna heat emboss that as well. And I'm going to use the sentiment on the stamp set. Um, sorry, I was thinking. I'm going to put the sending, and I'm just setting them down right now to line them up. And then I'm going to put the smiles and hugs. And I'm going to pick them up with a block. and I'm going to stamp that in the white daisy and hit that with the embossing powder as well so I'm going to get those out and ready if you're not familiar with the anti-static it helps keep the embossing powder off of where you don't want it to be Make sure I get it really soppy. I got some ink right up here, and that's okay because I'm going to trim that down. Don't put, oh, look what I did, guys. I put it on my, my doodad here. Not what I, not ideal. It's all right. I will clean that later. And that mostly set real quickly. Okay. Now I want to trim this down a little bit. It's a little bit wider than what I want on my card. And I'm going to just dovetail it.
I still have to use my sequins. I'm going to put that on here with some foam tape. Again, if you've watched my other videos, I always use up extra pieces from our shaker cards. So that there's no waste. If you don't send out cards, you should do it. It really brightens people's days. I send out a lot of cards and I love when I get cards in the mail. So they're, they're super fun and we all have a crafting little habit here. So might as well do something fun with those cards that we make. And I need to put my sequins on here, not sequins, my little bling. And I will put this one right down here. So there you go. That is my mystery envelope challenge um, for July. Be sure and check out everybody else's videos. You will absolutely be inspired. And if you're not familiar, we all get the same, same things. We all get the same exact product and we get to create something from our own vision out of it. And everybody's ideas are always completely different. So be sure and check out everybody's video. Thanks for watching. If you have not yet clicked that subscribe, please do so now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.